ni mwendo wa saa mbili kamili basi usitende mbali tegea tegea tu lakini kwa sasa mimi ni kamchemenza ni ruhusu tu nikujuze mawili matatu kwenye taarifa zetu kabla sijapisha usuka ni mzima kwa wanakuzacha moja kwa moja ni kwamba rais William Ruto amesema ulimwengu unakabiliwa na changamoto tatu kuu ambazo ni mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kudidimia kwa bayo anuwai, uchafuzi wa mazingira na takataka za plastiki akihutubia kikao cha sita cha baraza kuu la mazi, mazingira la umoja wa mataifa jijini Nairobi Rais Ruto amesema changamoto hizo zinaweza tu kutatuliwa kupitia mbinu mahususi za kimataifa wakati huo huo Rais Ruto alitoa wito wa ushirikiano wa kimataifa katika kubuni madhubuti za uh, kudhibiti takataka akibainisha kuwa ni muhimu kudumisha uchumi wa majini uh, na mifumo yake ya ekolojia huyu hapa Alvin Kaunda alihudhuria kikao hicho na mengi zaidi Rais William Ruto aliungana na wajumbe kutoka kote duniani kwa kikao cha sita cha baraza la umoja wa mataifa kuhusu mazingira UNEA jijini Nairobi kikiwa jukwaa kuu la kubadilishana taarifa. Rais alisema Kenya imeanzisha mfumo kamilifu wa kitaasisi wa kufanikisha hatua madhubuti za sekta mbalimbali zikiwemo nishati na uchafuzi wa mazingira. Global greenhouse gas emissions are still on the rise. Pollution patterns are veering in an alarming direction and biodiversity is confronted with multifaceted and escalating threats along with the risk of an accelerating rate of loss Rais Ruto alitoa wito kwa kujumuisha kwa vipengele vya kimsingi vya ajenda ya kimataifa ya mageuzi kuhusu suala la mabadiliko ya tabia nchi ili kuunganisha upya taasisi za kimataifa na maadili ya kimsingi ya jumuiya ya kimataifa kama msingi wa kuimarisha ufanisi na ujumuishaji As humankind we are faced with a critical decision to radically alter our course or persist on the current path endangering our very existence undoubtedly we collectively appreciate this predicament yet our track record on course correcting is mixed maoni yake aliungwa mkono na mkurugenzi mtendaji wa shirika la mazingira la umoja wa mataifa Inger Anderson ambaye alieleza haja ya kuangazia matukio ya awali kuhusu janga la mabadiliko ya tabia nchi And therefore we need to find the solutions and the solutions are entirely doable. We need to eliminate the unnecessary. Nature has wrapped many things for us but we don't need to wrap again. Wakati huo huo Rais Ruto aliwaomba viongozi wa kimataifa kuunga mkono ombi la Kenya la kuwa mwandalizi wa kongamano la kimataifa la mkataba wa kukabiliana na taka za plastiki katika afisi za UNEP eneo Gigiri. We of course are continuously working on how to Um, expand the horizon so that we bring on board as we have done this time round on plastic bottles as well you may want to know that uh, we are we have legislation now that takes this all the way to uh, uh, make sure that producers extended life uh, producer responsibility is part of the equation in our uh, legislation and in our policy uh, framework But the reason why we uh, encourage that time limit is because this is a real problem. Plastic fills our waterways, plastic goes into our oceans. We have plastic in our bodies and it is not as we heard from Dr. Tedros at Hanum Gabrias. Mkataba wa kimataifa kuhusu kero la plastiki unalenga kuanzisha mfumo mpana unaojumuisha viwango vya uwajibikaji, mbinu za ufadhili, viwango vya nyenzo na kemikali kanuni za uzaji bidhaa nje ya nchi na uagizaji bidhaa kutoka nje na malengo mahsusi ya kukabiliana na uchafuzi wa plastiki kote limwenguni na muungano wa wahudumu wa afya KMPDU umelani vikali mashambulizi dhidi ya kinara wao Dr. Davji Atela aliyejeruhiwa na maafisa wa usalama alipokuwa kiongoza wanafunzi wa udaktari kwenye maandamano ya amani jijini Nairobi uh, kwenye taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari muungano huo umeirai serikali kuanzisha uchunguzi wa kina dhidi ya maafisa waliotekeleza kitendo hicho na kuchukuliwa hatua za kisheria wakati huo huo muungano huo umeitisha kuanzisha umitishia kuanzisha mgomo wa kitaifa wa wahudumu wa afya Jumali Jalo Internships are sent on internship as a prerequisite for them to be registered 
and the total number of interns right now waiting to be deployed is around 1,600 those are doctors and they're supposed to serve internship for one year and that is to say that the ones who manage the emergency departments as you see it and after that they cannot be registered until they complete the internship we all know that the national health insurance fund yes was beleaguered with corruption issues and the government is well placed to capture the corrupt uh, official officers in the national health insurance uh, scheme however in its own wisdom but mostly lack of it they choose to bundle the house and reintroduce a scheme under very amorphous circumstances then in that they forget something called comprehensive insurance we gave our notice they received and thank god in our office we have our copy that was stamped and approved of course by Kenyan law, we don't need any permission by the police to pick it. We just need to alert them. But on this one, they granted us and even told us the route to follow up to Treasury. That's why we don't understand why they would then turn around and use violence on people who are nothing but peaceful. Na afisa mkumtendaji wa tume ya kupambana na ofisadi humu nchini Twalibu Mbarak amesema tume hiyo haina mzozo wote na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma ila wametofautiana na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka kuhusu swala la kuondoa mahakamani kesi zinazohusisha watu walio na ushawishi mkubwa akizungumza katika chuo kikuu cha Pwani kaunti ya Kilifi wakati wa mhadhara uh, kwa vijana kuhusu uongozi bora Twaliba alisema alikutana na mwenzake Renson Mulele kujadili swala hilo Tume ya kupambana na ufisadi nchini ESCC hatimaye imevunja kimya chake kuhusiana na kile kinachobainika kuwa mkwa ruzano na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma kuhusiana na hatua ya kuondoa mahakamani kesi zinazowahusisha watu wenye ushawishi mkubwa. Let us not say there is a fight between ESCC and ODP. No, there is no fight. We have just agree, disagree with them on three cases. Akizungumza katika chuo kikuu cha Pwani kaunti ya Kilifi wakati wa mhadhara kwa vijana kuhusu uongozi bora. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa tume ya ESCC Twaliba Mbarak alisema hakuna mzozo wowote baina ya afisi hizo mbili. Yesterday I was, I was in the ODP at the National Council of Administrative of Justice at Pride in Hotel in Mombasa and we discussed so many issues that are of the benefit to all for, for I mean, the ESCC and the and the, 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 the DPP. This was specific cases that we disagreed with them. But it does not mean we are at war with the ODP. ESCC ilipinga ombi lililo wasilishwa na mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya umma akitaka kuondoa mashtaka dhidi ya waliokuwa maafisa wa kampuni ya kuzalisha kawi kutokana na mvuke wa ardhi GDC. Tume ya ESCC hata hivyo ilipinga nia ya kuondoa mashtaka hayo yanayohusiana na matumizi mabaya ya afisi dhidi ya aliyekuwa mkurugenzi mkuu wa kampuni ya Kenya Pipeline Charles Sanui. There is no problem ODP differing with the ESCC. We have so many files that we sent to the DPP and the DPP gives concurrence for us to charge. Wakati huo huo, tume ya ESCC imetoa wito kwa vijana kujiepusha na ufisadi kwa vyovyote vile kwani wao ni kizazi kinacholengwa kutekwa na uovu huo. Which has not invested in integrity, we will suffer the most as young people. As we have agreed here in a forum with the youth, that it, that corruption eats into the future of our nation, and we must be able to deal with that. Abdi Azizashim, kutoka chuo kikuu cha Pwani, County ya Kilifi. Aya, tukisonga mbele ni kwamba baadhi ya wadau wa vyombo vya habari wameelezea wasiwasi kwamba teknolojia ya akili unde 
maarufu AI itachangia usambazaji wa taarifa za uongo na kutatiza wadilifu wa tasnia ya uandishi wa habari wakazi wakati wa uzinduzi wa hati ya white paper inayotoa suluhu kwa masuala muhimu katika sekta ya vyombo vya habari duniani Mohamed Jalala ambaye ni mkurugenzi mkuu wa shirika la habari la Emirates alielezea haja ya kuwepo ama kuwapa wanahabari ujuzi hitajika kuwawezesha kutofautisha baina ya taarifa hushi na uandishi wa habari halisi wa shirika katika mkutano huo walisisitiza umuhimu wa kuwekeza katika mafunzo ya kidijitali na kutoa wito kwa wataalamu vyombo vya habari kushirikiana na taasisi husika kuhakikisha uandishi wa habari unasalia kuwa nguzo ya kuene, kueneza ukweli na uwajibikaji katika enzi ya sasa ya kidijitali duniani way that can take the advantage of the new change and also avoid any negativity that will come with the changes and i think you have to be positive and take advantage of uh, update your skills and be part of the future technology is now being developed which enables those who have content to protect themselves two there is the legal regime yeah uh, what do we do about the laws and regulation to protect the interests of those who generate content yeah and you can see that the thrust of the discussion is about not killing the the much of change but managing it so that change happens but that which we have right now is also protected Nayo taasisi ya utafiti wa matibabu humo nchini Kemri imepokea ufadhili wa shilingi bilioni saba kufadhili mpango wa kutengeneza chanjo dhidi ya virusi vya ugonjwa wa ukimwi kwa ushirikiano na watafiti kutoka bara la Afrika. Ufadhili huo wa miaka mitano kutoka shirika la USAID utawezesha wanasayansi barani Afrika kutengeneza chanjo mwafaka kufuatia majaribio ya awali. Wanahabari wetu Wycliffe Oketch na mengi zaidi. Safari ya kutengeneza chanjo dhidi ya virusi vya ukimwi imepigwa jeki kutokana na ufadhili wa shilingi bilioni saba kutoka shirika la USAID. Kutokana na ufadhili huo, watafiti katika taasisi ya Kemri wataanza utafiti wa ziada katika maabara kutengeneza chanjo mwafaka kutoka bara la Afrika. This has been a big shot for us to be able to reach the target in a very short time because funding is really very critical for us to be able to get this. This project has been funded for five years. USAID has given us a very strict timeline to to get the vaccine in in five years. Maafisa katika taasisi ya Kemri wanasema mafunzo waliopata kutokana na majaribio saba yaliyokosa kufuadafu yatakuwa muhimu katika juhudi za kufanikisha mradi huo mpya. And there have been seven efficacy trials that have been done for HIV vaccine and all of them have failed. They didn't produce the results we wanted. But we learned something because in the process of doing the seven We actually identify a group of people that were protected by the vaccine but even though the number was small and now we are trying to figure out how can we make everybody respond the same way Bara la Afrika lina takriban asilimia salbini ya waathiriwa wa ugonjwa wa ukimwi kote ulimwenguni na hivyo ipo haja ya kutengeneza chanjo hiyo barani humo Taasisi ya Kemri pia imezindua gari maalum litakalo tumiwa kutoa huduma za makafani katika kaunti za Kisumu na Siaya This project which have been supported by Bill Gates and which our team has been working on has been to actually have this one right at the village level when there is a death then immediately when the other team is activated we go and take the samples then from that we can be able to inform not only the ministry but we can also inform the community and even the households Kaimo mkurugenzi mkuu wa taasisi ya Kemri Professor Elijah Songok amesema kituo hicho maalum ni muhimu katika mafunzo ya kutathmini viwango vya vifo vya watoto lengo kuu likiwa ni kuzuia vifo hivyo Kenya na Kuwait zimewasilisha ombi la pamoja la kuwa mwenyekiti mwenza wa kundi tekelezi la kanda ya Afrika Mashariki la kukabiliana na tishio la ugaidi duniani. Ombi hilo la kuongoza kundi hilo lenye nchi 32 
wanachama liliwasilishwa wakati wa mkutano wa 23 wa kimataifa wa kamati shirikishi kuhusu vita dhidi ya ugaidi ulioandaliwa katika hoteli moja jijini Nairobi mshauri kuhusu masuala ya usalama wa kitaifa balozi Monica Juma amesema Kenya na Kuwait zina simulizi kuhusu kero la ugaidi na mtazamo wa kina kuhusu mbinu za kukabiliana na kero hilo katika kanda hii in contact uh, and content week Mkutano huo wa siku mbili unanuia kutia makali mikakati ya muda mrefu ya kukabiliana na tishio la ugaidi huku Kenya na Kuwait zikijitolea kushadidi msingi uliowekwa na Misri na jumuiya ya Ulaya ambazo zimekuwa mwenyekiti mwenza wa kundi tekelezi la kukabiliana na ugaidi katika kanda ya Afrika Mashariki. Our two countries bring frontline experiences and perspectives that speak to the geographical context and thematic issues relevant to the region and remain committed to working closely with GCTF member states and our neighbors in the region to deliver on shared priorities. Zikigusia kuhusu mbinu ibuka zinazotumiwa na magaidi hasa katika enzi sasa ya teknolojia nchi wanachama wa kundi hilo tekelezi zilihimizwa kuafiki mfumo jumuishi wa kutatua na kuzima vitisho vya ugaidi na uenezaji itikadi kali. And we look to Kenya and Kuwait to which we will uh, come soon to renew the GCTF efforts within the East Africa capacity building group uh, on this part of Africa. We have to make sure that the work of the inspired institutions is complementing each other not redundant to each other. Nchi wanachama pia zilitakiwa kuangazia mafanikio yaliyopatikana kufikia sasa na kuweka mustakabali wa kutimiza malengo itajika kwa manufaa ya wote. We can work together with other partners to address initiatives that uh, will help us create resilience within our communities uh, and avoiding recruitment into terrorism. Nam saa moja dakika moja juu ya lama asubuhi hii leo ikiwa ni tarehe moja ya mwezi wa machi mwaka 2024 mtazamaji na kutakia mwezi mwema kuanzia sasa ama kuanzia leo lakini papo ndipo ninapokamilisha taarifa za kuzacha asubuhi hii leo na mwana tayari mwenzangu Nancy Onyancha Keshaka Ange pale na kundi lake zima la mduara wa mama Maliwaza ni ruhusu ni kuage lakini tufanye vivi hivi tena ijumaa ijayo kumbuka na kuenzi mimi ni Kamchemenza masalamu